Vito from Melbourne, Australia recently shared this very interesting article from Motor Trend on our Facebook group. By the way, if you're not part of the Facebook group, I'll put a link in the description below. Even though right now this is a niche idea, I can see this potentially becoming a big part of the auto industry over the next decade. Basically, it would give old internal combustion engine vehicles a new and kind of exciting life. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I am the Electric Viking. Great to have you here. Great to have so many new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel, supporting the mission of the channel, which is to do, well, you know what it is, to make the world better and to recognize the reality that the world is, in fact, getting better every single day of the year. Now, I forget to tell you guys that, but it is true. I'll have a new video coming proving that point, if you don't agree with me, showing you all the measurable ways in which the world has improved over the past, well, not just decade, over the past century. So Vito shared this article called Scrapping the Small Block V8 and subbing in a literal Tesla crate motor. Forget that LS swap. Go for a Tesla drive unit that bolts up to a small block V8 mount. Now, interestingly, the day I had a discussion with someone starting up a new business, this is what his new business is, right? When an electric car is written off after a crash, the insurer gives this his new company the battery pack, then he sells the battery pack to consumers, right? Eventually, there's going to be millions of battery packs available after the crash, right? The most expensive part of an electric car, of course, by far, is what? The battery. And quite often, in an accident, the battery is undamaged completely. I mean, if you don't believe me, jump on eBay, you'll see that there's been tens of thousands of Tesla batteries sold on eBay. I'm talking about cell level packs of batteries, tens of thousands. This market is going to be massive within 10 years. What does this mean is you could essentially buy this new crate motor, get a secondhand battery pack, right? Turn your old internal combustion engine vehicle that you might love into a new electric car. Exciting stuff. Now, the term crate engine has long been used to describe engines you could buy, such as the ridiculous 7.5 liter engine that General Motors recently brought to market. They've been developing that for the last few years. The boffins at General Motors thought it'd be a great idea to just bring out the world's biggest engine and sell it as a crate motor. I'll put a link in the description below if you don't believe me and you can check that video out. Now, why the name crate? Well, the engines ship in a crate and often the word engine is used interchangeably with the word motor, a casual oversight of the distinction between an internal combustion engine and a motor, which we typically use to describe an electric power source. Until now, go ahead and call EV West Revolt Systems Tesla electric powertrain swap what it is. It's a crate motor. This new crate motor from EV West is a combined effort from EV West and Revolt Systems, a new company being started to provide the necessary conversions of Tesla powertrains to this new layout in an internal combustion engine vehicle. According to EV West, which will sell the Tesla crate motors, the original Tesla Model S drive units have to be stripped down, the differential casting cut free, and the motor smoothed up and bolted to a new aluminum gear reduction. The crate motor produces a claim 450 kilowatt or 550 horsepower. That's quite a lot of power. In fact, it's more power than any crate motor mass produced currently in the world. So you're basically upgrading your car in terms of its power. Pretty cool idea, I think. Now, Revolt's website says that the Tesla drive kit includes a highly modified 450 kilowatt Tesla Model S motor producing approximately 533 horsepower and over 800 pound feet of torque at the yacht. So that's at the wheel. Either way, this thing has a lot of power. Now, a separate conversion kit offered by EV West includes what sounds like the same 450 kilowatt, 550 plus horsepower Tesla Model S motor, along with a different, more stock appearing gearing setup. It runs at 12,000 US dollars. The small block ready version has a custom gear setup, which is distinct from the off the shelf transverse layout used by Tesla. In any event, consider that a cool addition to the crate motor world, a plug in Tesla powertrain that can fit virtually anywhere a small block can. You literally can plug it straight in. That leaves finding room for a battery as the main challenge for would-be EV crate motor conversions. Obviously, the next few years, 
this will be largely limited to boutique products, boutique conversions, right? Classic cars, for example, maybe classic muscle cars. And that's where it's going to be the most popular. But the reality is, by the end of this decade, we're going to see heaps of cars written off, right? Lots of batteries will be available. Lots of parts that go into those cars will be available. And people will be able to use those pretty easily into converting their old internal combustion vehicles and giving them a new life as electric cars. Frankly, I find this kind of exciting. I'm sitting here thinking, hmm, what would I start with? A Mustang 1967 Fastback. That would be cool. What about you? If you were going to transform any gas-powered vehicle, which one would you choose to transform into an electric car? Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.